Help the Homeless Leicester, uh, the responsibilities that we've kind of taken are mainly uh, assisting or advocating accommodation that's suitable to the person's needs. Uh, to date, we've accommodated over 220 people um, and we've got a success rate of extended tenancies past the six months of 86%. You know, we've helped people as young as 17 and as old as 78. So one of the first people we accommodated is actually one of our star employees now. He's like relatable. He can relate to the people that we're helping because he's been in that position as well. It all began back in 2014. So we thought, what can we do to get the homeless people off the streets? So that's when Corey and Vanessa and myself, we uh, then registered to help the homeless as a charity, helped people into accommodation. So at the start, Getting the funding in was very difficult, uh, you know, constantly living like kind of hand to mouth. Hats, gloves, scarves, if, if people want to clear out the wardrobes for example, we can always take excess clothing. If we don't get donations of them, we have to buy them. That all adds up as well. As you can see behind me, we run the food bank uh, and we sometimes get up to 200 people a week coming to us just for basic essentials. That's a lot of shopping every week. That's the beauty of kind of like where we've come to and it shows how far we've come from the boot of a car to now having service level agreements with the local authority to kind of pay us to assist them to ensure that the homelessness problem is kind of solved in the city. So the bike ride was an idea of uh, one of the riders who's also riding with us and he said look we all enjoy cycling so I said why don't we do a cycle ride for your charity we can raise money for the work that you do we'll also support a secondary charity which is Crohn's and Colitis UK so we're going to be donating 20% to them as well at the end um, and we thought well what can we do as a challenge we thought well let's do something different so we thought well let's cross a country border let's cycle to Amsterdam so we're going to be cycling from Leicester from the King Power Stadium on the 9th of June starting at 10 a.m and we're going to be cycling to Amsterdam and we aim to reach there at the Ajax Arena by afternoon on Saturday, so less than 72 hours. But um, there's going to be 15 of us riding, we're going to have the support staff as well. We're very lucky to have all the sponsors on board that have sponsored all the costs and stuff, so uh, we've got them on our t-shirts, uh, on the cycling tops, on the sleeves, on the back. And it's just great, I guess, for the business community to come and back us and, and uh, basically, you know, help us in what we believe is going to be a worthy cause. And then we've also got the public donations and, uh, you know, people kind of assisting us with the fundraising side of things as well. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's promising to be a great event. My first big charity ride where it lasted over three days. We all rode together, we all stuck it out. Just a tremendous experience for someone who's got into cycling recently. Magnificent, absolutely magnificent man. This is 
the first time I've done three days on a truck. Amazing ride. Company was amazing. I won't do it without these guys. And everybody, support staff, everything. Brilliant. It's been a heavy journey, but it's been really good. Everyone's been awesome today. The guys encouraging each other, it's been an awesome ride. So, looking forward to the next one. This is my second time I've done a ride like this. It makes it quite emotional as well, for the simple reason, we're doing something not for us, we're doing it for somebody else. That's why when you finish, you feel overwhelmed. Amazing experience. I think how many miles did we do? Just under, just over 200 miles. Nice to meet everyone and get to know everyone properly along the cycle ride and stuff like that. And it was good that we raised a lot of money for charity. As well. Ladies and gents, we're on day three, final leg. Everyone's in good spirits, injury free. Last 50 miles, thank you to everyone who's donated. All the riders who put the effort in, all the support staff, the donors, uh, the, the sponsors. Honestly, you know what? It's been a magical effort, literally. Thank you for supporting the cause, getting behind the charity, and hopefully a lot of people will get help from this. So uh, thank you massively, seriously. Thank you, everyone. Done it, made it, Ajax Arena, 200 miles, less than three days. Thank you to all the riders, honestly, for all the effort they've put in. Thank you to the support staff, thank you to all the donors, everyone who's donated, uh, all the uh, sponsors as well, anyone who shared or liked our videos. Um, 
If you've not donated yet and you've seen this video, please feel free to do so. Go to the website, hghleicester.co.uk. Uh, we're going to keep the page open, try and hit that 50k if possible. Remember, 20% is going to Crohn's and Colitis UK as well. Honestly, it's been brilliant. No injuries. The weather's been lovely as well. Uh, shout out to Josh, uh, one of the staff members that helped the homeless Leicester who had to go back uh, yesterday, unfortunately, due to uh, family circumstances. Thoughts are with him. Brilliant. Yeah, we made it and we're going to have a nice rest now. So uh, thank you for your support, guys. So Everything Branded is a promotional products business. We provide a plethora of products that any business, any, any size, any shape, uh, if they want to promote their products, we have over 100,000 variations of, of products that they can put their logo on. Breaking Down Barriers, we're a local charity. We've been in operation for the last six years. We work with a lot of community organisations. We provide the sports facility, sports lounge on Gwendolyn Road to many community organisations at subsidised rates. And at the same time, we work with other charity organisations, like here today, Help the Homeless. We offer very different services to, to our clients, but we're quite bespoke in terms of recruitment. So we work with businesses, so Everard, for example, where we would recruit from, you know, a, a front of house person up, up, up to C-suite. Um, our business is very much about understanding your, your DNA as, as a client. We got associated with Feed the Homeless at Leicester because due to our location here we often see unfortunately a lot of, a lot of homeless activity around this location so we deal with a lot of charities and we felt that it's important that if we can help in any particular way we, um, we would want to do so. So we got in touch and ever since we've been helping out. Here we are for a very, very, very common cause, an issue that's been going on for a very long time and I guess it will remain an issue, homelessness. It's really important to support Help the Homeless. You know, as I say, these people have individual stories and the way that Arif and his team do help is it's not just about asking businesses for money. We can donate food and do lots of other things to, to help support. And if everybody just did their bit, you know, it can make a huge difference. <laughs>